Hey guys, I think this is a cool one. I want to show you the steps of this proof that 3 is equal to pi. Let's see if you can spot the mistake when it happens. So we're going to start with x equals pi plus 3 over 2. And first we multiply both sides by 2. On the left hand side we have 2x and on the right hand side these 2's cancel. So we're left with pi plus 3. And then from here let's multiply both sides by pi minus 3. So on the left hand side we're going to distribute. We have pi times the 2x which is equal to 2 pi x. And we have the negative 3 times the 2x which is equal to negative 6x. And on the right hand side this is a difference of 2 squares. Anytime you have a plus b times a minus b, it's just a squared minus b squared. Or in this case, pi squared minus 3 squared, or in other words, pi squared minus 9. Next, let's subtract this 2 pi x from both sides, and let's add 9 to both sides. On the left hand side, these cancel, so we're just left with 9 minus 6x. And on the right hand side, these cancel, so we're left with pi squared minus 2 pi x. And then let's add x squared to both sides of the equation. Then let's rearrange the order of a couple of these. This is a perfect square trinomial. It ends up being x minus 3 squared. If we multiply x minus 3 times x minus 3, it brings us back to this. And same thing here, this is also a perfect square trinomial. It ends up being x minus pi squared. And if we multiply x minus pi times x minus pi, it brings us back to this. And now from this step, let's square root both sides. On the left hand side, the square and the square root cancel each other out, so we have x minus 3. And on the right hand side, the square and the square root cancel each other out, so we have x minus pi. We end up with x minus 3 equals x minus pi. Then from here, we subtract x from both sides. On the left hand side, we have negative 3, and on the right hand side, we have negative pi. After we divide both sides by negative 1, we get 3 equals pi. And clearly, this is not true, so where is the mistake? And if you want to try to find the mistake on your own, pause it because I'm going to show it in 3, 2, 1. The mistake in this occurs right here going from this step to this step. So the square and the square root don't just cancel out and give you what's in the parentheses. They always give you the positive of what's inside the parentheses. So the correct thing would be to put both sides of the equation in absolute value. And we can actually work with this. So we do know what x is equal to. x is equal to this pi plus 3 over 2. And that is approximately equal to 3.07. So if we plug in 3.07 here, this inside will be positive, which means we don't need the absolute value symbols. But if we plug in 3.07 into this one, this inside the brackets will be negative. So before we get rid of the absolute value symbols, we need to take the negative of this. And that will turn the whole thing positive. And now let's work through this. On this side, we can bring down the x minus 3. And then on the right-hand side, this negative distributes to give us negative x. And then negative times negative pi is equal to positive pi. Let's add x to both sides and add 3 to both sides. On the left-hand side, the 3's cancel, which gives us 2x. And on the right-hand side, the x's cancel, which gives us pi plus 3. And after we divide both sides by 2, we get x is equal to pi plus 3 over 2. But we already knew that. So in reality, we didn't accomplish anything with all this work. We just applied operations and then their inverses. And it brought us back to where we started. But we did successfully find the mistake in this proof of 3 equals pi. And that was in this step right here. How exciting.